Hi everyone, welcome back to this new video for the tutorial that uses Python to connect to the MCU and have a good display for the data. So, so far we created the communication user interface and then we added the connection user interface and the checking that what's going on and also we added, we started by adding the charts. And in this video we will complete the whole user interface that will be ready to get the data and display. So, as you can see here, we will be creating and adding this part and the command to use and add channels as we want and up to 8.1 and we can also remove them. But not also only for one display, but for whatever the display, that the number of display we want. So we will be able to add and delete with no issue to add the number of display and having a better visualization. So if you would like to know how to have this extension for the display and add all these kind of option, stay tuned and follow this episode. This video will be focusing on adding the channel to the display user interface. And within the whole tutorial, this is a video number 7, where we are completing the previous video and completing the whole data display user interface. So, as usual, the code is available on GitHub, so I quite advise you to download the code and follow up the videos to have a very good understanding. The code is Python, only Python, and the text editor is VS Code. Finally, I will do my best to explain the code, but I would expect an intermediate understanding of Python so you can go smoothly with the understanding of this video. So, let's take a look to the tutorial. First of all, I need to introduce a little bit the logic for adding the channels. It's quite important because it can be a little bit complicated as we are adding a lot of layers of frame. Then we are going to set up the channel frame. After that we are going to add a channel. And after we will have to add the channel option menu. Then add the delete channel method. Finally update the kill chart method that we started in the previous video. So let's first take a look how to display frame logic. So in the previous video, we stopped at this level. So we added the frame, the display data display frame, and also we added the graphic and the button. So now what we are going to add will be the channel frame. It will be a frame on itself, but inside of that frame, we are going to add a new frame. So it will be the channel frame, and inside that frame, we will be adding the widgets. So we will have a widget 1, widget 2, widget 3. And after that, what we need to do is to have the widget added when we push the plus button as well, and also removed when we push the minus button like this. So that will be the logic that we will need. And to get that, we will need to have a certain logic and mainly two point that two rules that we have to follow. First of all, we need to connect the plus and minus button to um, a function or to a method that we will be using that will be connected actually to the frame, the channel frame itself, so it can work together to add or remove channels. And the second one, we need to have a list of objects where we store all the data so we can use that data later on when we will display the um, the stream data to understand which channel we would like to stream and also which type of function we would like to have. Okay, so it looks a little bit complicated, but now that you do have an idea how the program will work, let's jump to the code and start working on it on Python. Let's go back to our first GUI master and have first of all a correction, a small one. I corrected already the file I shared in the GitHub and apologies again in the graph here. Instead of putting here column span 17, actually this is a row span, not a column span. That's a, a small mistake here, row span. And from column perspective, the column span would be equal to 4. Column span would be equal to 4. This is, we will see it later on, and we will understand the impact of this one. But here the row span is because we are going to add the channel in parallel of the, with this one. Column span can be equal to 1. That will not make a difference, but if you would like to add other feature in the future, that will be helpful. Okay, so now I already added the method that we will be creating. And the first one here is 
the one that will add a channel frame. And the first step will be to initialize the object that we have created. So the, uh, this object, this is the one that will be um, getting all the data and storing it so we can use it later on. The initialization has been made in advance in the init, init function. So we initialize this one as empty list. So as soon as we create a new um, a channel frame or the new frame that will have all the channels, we have to append all the other one so we get this list with us. So after that, what we need to do is to create here. So in the channel frame, we have a new list and in the first element of the or the index zero of the list, we will create then the frame and the root frame will be the frame that will be in like the the master frame for the channel. And after that, what we are going to add in the index one or so the second memory case, we are going to add this number, the number of this channel frame. And we will use that later on to index the element or the child of this frame. Then we just have to go for the credit and we put this one row span equals 16. So this one is row starting from row one. So as you remember, for column zero, in row zero, we do have the bottom here. So row one. And the row zero, we have the bottom. And after that, so actually this one can be column zero also. This one is column zero, and this one also column zero. And but this one is row zero and row one, and we have 16. And that's why I corrected here the graph. So the graph is starting in column one. We have row zero and we have 17. Hope that this mistake is understood. And the correction also is understood. Okay, and then so this is will create the master frame, the frame that we will be adding to to input after that the other frame. So then here we need to call this new method the add channel, and this one will be adding. It will be this this method will be adding the frame which will have the um, the widgets. So if we go here inside, so in this method method we will add these two inputs, so the self and the channel frame, which will be here. And here we can see the usage of the channel frame. So we can see here channel frame zero, so which will be the frame object, and we check with this nice function info child. Info child is the method for the label frame that will transform it to a list and will get us the number of element or the widget inside the frame. So if it's less than eight, because we don't want to have a lot of channel, but you can change this one and that will add a new frame channel. So this new frame channel will be extremely simple, channel frame zero and the background will be white. So after that, we have to put under the grid and the position here, the position of the row will be simply, it will be very simple. The row will be this channel frame zero and we get the number of child minus one. So the row number will be how many child will be within this upper frame. After that, here we are going to use the view var. The view var is the one that will stock the value of the variable of the check bottom. And this one, this check bottom will be used to see if we would like to view or not the charts related to a certain channel. And then we put it on the grid. So after closing this one, what we can do and or what we can call directly, we add this one here, the add channel. This is where I added this one so I can explain quickly and focus more on the code. And we can go to this congui and instead of new chart here, in not in this one actually, we have to create a function in the bottom here. And here that's a very and extremely important thing. So now let, let's start seeing, sorry apologies, let's start by seeing what's going on. So with doing this, what we will have, if we go like this, we are going to connect 
and by adding you see we do have our check button here let's add again we do have another check button here so that's really good but what we would like to have is to add plus here so if something went wrong in the let's go to the yeah I know what what went ground is uh, about the button here I shouldn't put change this one this one should be column one because this is inside the bottom but the frame is correct this column zero row zero it's a perfectly correct one but what I would like to say when we push the bottom plus we would like to call this add channel and add another channel and to make this one happen we need to add um, the method the call here for the command for this method but it have to be extremely special and extremely a uh, hard say there's a small trick that we need to make and for this one we need to call a special special um how say python function tool so let's go here in the plus one here what we need to add we have to put comment and then equal partial and this is the function tool in python and after this partial we put self dot the add channel this is the function that we need and the argument that we are going to add is self dot channel frame like this and inside it it will be the self dot and total frames okay so let's run the code again ah yeah we need to add partial as it's a special function from python so let's go for it and add it so we go here and we go to the top so from func tools import partial okay that's good so let's run our GUI to see how things are going and connect plus we do have our two buttons and if we put plus you see here we're adding the channels we have four five six seven and that's all because we put it a limit so now that we finish this the next step is to add the option menus here so we can have the whole thing ready to go okay let's see you in the next step okay so now we have created only the um, check button so we need to add some method to add also the option menu and the two option menu method will be really same so def we will call the first one channel option and this is about will be uh, about the functions that we would like to check and oh, actually the, the channels we would like to check and this one will be needing the self also the frame that will be um, we are going to use and finally the channel um, frame number okay so we need to know which channel frame to directly direct for to create this new um, option menu so first of all we need to get the self option var option var this one and we need to give it the one related to, we need to find the number here is channel so for this one it will be the channel frame number and that's the difference here the channel frame number and we will make an append and here we are adding the string var that's what we are getting the data later on when we will need it then what we are going to do is put the BDS and from the BDS, which will take the self equal self dot data dot channels, and this one we have created quite far away ago when we get the synchronization, and this will display the list of channels that we found through the synchronization. After that, what we have to do is just self just comment self dot option var for this one and what we need to get or to set we need to set the first one so channel frame number here and here the length of the whole thing again so self option var 
on this one land option bar for this and but after that so chamber like uh, len of this minus one and what we need to add is set bds of zero okay so we set it up the first one as the one that we'd like to, to put and then we just create a simple uh, widget we call it drop and for this one, ch channels, here we go equal to option menu. And this is how we are going to create the root for this one or the frame root will be the frame that we are we are going to pass. And after that, we need to put this one, the self option var, this one, channel number frame. And we can add actually up to here, this one. So this is the one that we need to add, like this, and hopefully it's correct, yep. And we add also the BDS that we added, and that's all, that's what we needed to do. And then we are going to use a drop channel, let's put it here, and we put a config to change a little bit the size, so we put with equal to like five should be good and finally we can make a grid so let's copy again we put a grid and let's put the row will be equal to zero and the column column equal to one because the column column with the n equal to one because we already the column zero is taken by the checkbox and finally, let's put a little bit of padix equal to 1. Okay, and we need to call it here. So we need to call when you add a new channel. So let's put here self dot and we put the channel option like this. And we are going to add the new frame channel because this one is the frame that we are, we are going to pass. And after that, the channel frame 1 is the number of the frame that we will have. Okay, so we should be good. And we can run a quick test. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot that it's a DTH, like this. Okay, let's go for this, go here add one and nothing happened something goes wrong has no type tk where is the issue is okay not the line here six one frame yep because i need to put let's change this one to a capital f what's going on okay now that should be correct did okay let's go and check connect add and we do have a channel with a list of channels that we do have yeah like we still have yeah we keep adding and there's no problem at all and we can add multiple ones and we keep adding here and here with no issue so removing is still not working but if I add again, okay, we do have an issue on the other side. So what does it say? Here, let's go and have a quick check. And probably, probably this is because we don't have the delete function yet. So let's put it 31. Where is 31? 31 is here. Where is it? In 431. Here, the add channel. Here and it says in your chart there's a problem so for this one and this is because yeah because we need to delete so let's wait a bit and after that we can have a correct picture okay so now let's add the other one I will copy the whole method because it will not be that different okay so that will not be a big change between that one so I will call it for this one a channel funk the input is almost the same 
beside that BDS, BDS is different thing. So let's go to the data here and we are going to the init function. And the thing that we are going to do is to create a small list. For the moment, it will be just a testing list. We will call it a function master. Self dot function master. And that will be equal. Very basic one. For example, it will be a list like this. Let's go back here and put the first element. Let's say we call it row data. We will update it later on, but just now we, this is not our main focus. And voltage display. Okay, so we go back here and instead of data channels, it will be the function master. Just go back here again. Yeah, function master, that's good. And after that, on this option bar, we are not going to use the option bar, but the fun var in every place. The fun var here, and same fun var here, and here too. We will have the fun var, not fun var var, and here we should be good. The only thing we are going to add here is column. Okay, let's save and run, see how things goes. Okay, connect. We are connected. We don't have it here, which is normal because I should add it right here. When we add the channel, we, ha we have to add this one too, but instead of channel option, it will be a channel fun. Let's put funk just to stop the fun. And let's work on it like this. We bring here, we connect, and yeah, we do have our function and we can play with this as much as we want. So, by adding the functions that we need and the channel that we would like to display. Okay, so now that we have done this, we need to clean, actually to um, put a function that will start removing this one and then removing the one correctly. So let's see in the next step. We have been adding until now the new channels, but we need to also prevent and add also the delete channels. So what we have to do and we must do is just we create a new method. So we call it def and let's call it delete, simply delete channel. And after that, we will need only cell for this one plus the channel frame. So we need to be sure that we know which channel frame we are going to use. Okay, good. So let's jump quickly and check. So the first check is if the len of the channel frame, so let's put if the len of the channel frame is zero, because we will be checking inside the list of the channel frames, Dot. So I guess now you start knowing it. So it will be the win foe and with a widget info children like this. So we need to check if this one is greater than one. Let's go back here. Is greater than one. So do I have more like than one channel? But I'm putting greater than one, not zero, because I always would like to keep as a standard that there is all one channel that we can see. Okay. And then what we can do is a channel frame zero of win and form here, the widget information and children here. So I will copy this one. No, no need. So children of zero. And we are going to destroy the last one. So actually it's not inside it, but the outside. So len off. And we just copy again channel and for this one. So and I have to put the dot here. I should not forget the dot. So the len minus one. So I put minus one first and put the len and so we would like to destroy this one okay so after destroying this one you should not forget the y like last time 
So after destroying that, what we have to do is to just remove the self from the list, so self dot uh, the uh, display, no, the view, yeah, the view var, and same again, so channel frame one. So where is it? Channel frame here, but not zero. We are going to use one because we need to know the position now, and that's why we store the position here like this and we will put a pop a simple pop so we just copy these ones again like this and we just change here instead of view var it will be the option var and for this one it will be the fun var no 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 it will be the fun var okay so let's run the code and see how things goes. Normally that should be straightforward, no issue at all. It would be a miracle if we do have an issue. Okay, so we are adding and we do have an issue. No, we don't have an issue actually. <laughs> I just forgot we, we have to add the command to call this function here. It will be exactly the same as the previous one, like this, partial, but instead of add channel, we will have to add the delete channel. But wait a second, so last time we, we added partial, I didn't explain uh, carefully why we need this partial. Actually this partial is taking with it the channel frame self total frame so it creates really a command that saved here one of the problem if you don't use this partial and you directly use self delete channel what will happen is the bottom the last bottom that you will create will be adding only on the last frame so all the bottoms will be using only the last frame that will be used here and that's why I'm adding partial here Okay, so let's save and run again. We bring the GUI here and we check, connect, we add, so let's add to the top so we cannot add anymore and we can remove with no issue at all. Perfect. So now we have the plus and remove here. What we still need to do is just to have the right remove the chart itself or the kill the chart itself updated and we finish. In this last step, what we are going to tackle is to go back to the connection GUI and go for the kill chart. So we have been already working on this one and putting the data, so now we are going to add other ones. So after this one, we are going to destroy again. So we will go to the self dot the chart chart master and we, the one that we are going to go for is a channel frame and not channel frame the last one but the channel frame and here we need to get the total frame and also zero because that's where we do have let's put like this and we are going to destroy it okay and after that what we are going to do is to pop the channel frame the last one so we delete it and destroy the last one so pop for this one we add just a pop and remove the last element then what we have to do also is to go through the var that we created in the list of vars and we de de remove the last one so self dot chart master and the var let's go quickly to those ones so in the not in the save data but in the init function here so just let's take them quickly so we don't make a mistake in writing the name so let's I put them here and the view var the first one and we are going to pop it the pop like this and I've just copied this one three times and we are going to replace the view var with the option var and also the fun var too. Okay, I think we are more than good, just I have to delay. Delete this one. 
So we popped and deleted the channel frame and we destroyed all the variable that we do have here. So should be good. Let's run and see how the system will behave. Okay. And we go here and let's start now. Let's add, let's add some stuff here. Go here to add and remove and then remove work properly. And let's add a little bit more just to be sure. So let's remove one, add one, no issue, no, no problem at all. I'm deleting everything, add again, delete all, add all. Seems that the program is working perfectly. So we are good with this step and we completed the whole GUI. So the GUI all logic is done. So now we can jump in the next video on the serial as and start getting the stream of data. Thank you a lot and see you in the next video.